Welcome back. Last week, the Los Angeles Dodgers took home their seventh World Series title and their first since 1988 with a six-game series win over the Tampa Bay Rays. However, the win didn't come without controversy. In the decisive Game 6 matchup, Dodgers third baseman Justin Turner was removed from the game during the eighth inning after testing positive for COVID-19. Not long after his positive test, Turner was seen celebrating with teammates on the field in violation of MLB protocols. Many are calling for Turner to be suspended or fined, while others say his actions should go without punishment. I'm joined by Marina Saver and Jerome Sweeney to hear their side on whether or not the MLB should punish Justin Turner and the LA Dodgers. Yeah, I mean, I do think that they are going to punish him, and it doesn't matter kind of what my opinion is on whether they should or not almost because they kind of have to, right? I right. mean, he, he did violate protocols and, you know, things like that. But the reason why I feel the need to defend him is because, first of all, when he is punished, it's going to be ten times worse than any Astros player exactly. got for cheating and, you know, completely ruining the integrity of the game, which this did not do. Um, and also... I try and put myself in the shoes of Turner and Turner's family and like if it were one of my brothers who play baseball, you know, I would want them to be able to celebrate that World Series win. Um, it's you, you don't know if you're going to get it again. He was in the locker room with his teammates and he was right. in the dugout with them for two thirds of the game. Um, they couldn't get a conclusive result on his test and they were retesting him and they let him play in the game without right. knowing if he was positive or not. He'd already been there. He'd already been in the dugout. He'd already been interacting with people. So so he should be able to celebrate. I, it was not good that he was taking his mask off for pictures, especially sitting next to Dave Roberts, who is a cancer survivor. That um, is just really not a good judgment call on his part. But I, I just, I feel bad for him. And I, I feel the need to defend him. Again, they're going to punish him. I know that they will, but it's understandable. I understand why he did what he did and I, and I right. feel for him. So you gotta, you gotta look at it from the perspective of MLB. Right. If there's a game seven tomorrow, is the game seven gonna be played? I think no, because positive tests on a team, that's a mandatory quarantine. So in an alternate world, we don't have a game seven, or if the Rays were to come back and win game six, I don't think there would be a game seven for another week, and that honestly could potentially change the way that the whole outcome of the World Series, uh, how that ended up. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, MLB created a bubble for their players, and I get it's hard to you know bubble a group, a large group of people that big, uh, unlike the MLB or unlike the NBA and NHL. Mm -hmm. um, so. The way that their bubble worked, um, you know, the hotels were interesting with the no families coming in, you know, it was supposed to be very strict, uh, but yet the hotels had other right. guests staying at the hotels. So you couldn't be in contact with your family, but you could run into a random person in the hallway and get coronavirus from them. So I think it's more about the fault of uh, MLB as a whole and how they handled the pandemic rather than just being Justin Turner because Justin Turner tested positive once and then he was allowed to play in the game and then he had to test positive twice to be taken out of the game. So if they were letting Justin Turner play, uh, even play the game with one positive test, even though it wasn't verified, uh, that's absolutely horrendous to be letting into the game because now everyone on the field was exposed to COVID. Every, everyone in the front office, everyone that was on the celebration, on the Rays and on the Dodgers is now exposed. Both teams are quarantining still. It's, he just, it, it caused a headache and a lot of problems for baseball. Um, it was really bad press on the World Series that's now gonna be overshadowed by coronavirus. Right, because that first test result was inconclusive and they did let him play. Um, and, and an interesting point that actually Trevor Bauer brought up right. on, on his Twitter, as he loves to do, he loves to rip on Rob Manfred <laughs> yeah, on, his, yeah. on his Twitter, um, but he brought up a point that it seems that from the, the higher ups in the MLB's perspective, it did automatically go to blaming Turner for, you know, refusing security when they tried right. to get him off the field and things like that, which he did do, and, you know, he should take responsibility for that. But there was never any internal looking. It was never, okay, we created this bubble. Turner followed the rules right. that we know of. How did he still get sick? How did this happen? How did we let this happen? How did we get this player sick? Not that they got him sick, but how was it that the conditions right. were such that he did? 
and now lost out on the opportunity, or should have lost out on the opportunity, to celebrate his World Series victory. Um, and Turner, and even Corey Seager, like, was spending mm -hmm. his press time after being named the MVP, talking about how sorry he felt for Turner. This, yeah. of course, was before right. Turner had stepped onto right. the field. You know, and, and I don't like the Dodgers, we know this, but I can appreciate Turner's story and the fact that he was released from the Mets. Yep. He really was told he wasn't going to go anywhere. 35. He comes to the Dodgers, exactly, he comes to the Dodgers, he just flourishes and becomes an absolute staple to that team and a staple to Los Angeles. Um, right. And he means so much to the fans and they love him. Um, he, he really is just sort of an iconic player for them. And um, he of, of anyone should have been out there celebrating that World Series. Right. Again, what we're all doing is wearing masks and we're staying socially distanced right. and things like that. So with the exception of that picture that he was taking with the team photo where he took his, his mask off and then the pictures that he was taking with his wife where he took his mask off, right. which she would have gotten sick regardless. Right. Um, he did have his mask on. He did appear to be, I mean, he was hugging people and stuff like that, but he, I, I don't know. It's like if it works for us, why is he expected to follow harsher rules? Right. I know he's positive and I know it's, it's just really messy. Um, but again, like they're going to punish him. I know they will, right. but I feel for him. Um, and I, yeah, I just feel for him. Onto the, onto the punishments, you, like I said, I mean, they, he's for sure going to be punished more than any Astros player right, ever exactly, will be. Because which that's is, how it works. It's, it's horrible, but you know, in the times of a pandemic, it needs to happen. Uh, I mean, going back, um, there wouldn't have been a game seven if he tests positive twice before the game. So if he takes his test and we get those earlier, I mean, it's just, it's sad that the MLB is even in this situation. The, yeah. To where is we have an inconclusive test and we're letting players that might have COVID be playing in an MLB game is horrendous and it goes against everything that all the sports leagues developed to, for safety protocols for this pandemic. Yeah, I agree. And you know, they are opening investi an investigation right. into the situation. So it's something that we'll have to keep watching just right. to see what happens. And when more details about that investigation right. come out, I'm sure we'll be, we will be talking about it again. But that's all the time we have for this segment. We're gonna throw it over to commercial and we'll be right back.